Hi guys, Josh Thackeray here reporting for Spurred on TV. We're winning currently as we speak, we're probably around the 92nd minute of stoppage time against um, Watford. Watford, sorry, at home. <laughs> I'm just hoping we can see the next couple of minutes. For I've got Harry with me as a regular. Harry, tense moments at the moment. We're not quite sure if we've won, but let's just say we have 1-0. One 1-0 nil. One nil win. What do you make of the game? Well, we expected Watford to come and sit back and exactly what they did. Mm -hmm. The first half we were a bit slow, I thought, in possession. Second half was way better. We moved the ball a lot quicker. And I think Trippi is the man of the match by like a mile. <laughs> yeah, I thought Trippi was fantastic. I thought Ben Davis also did a good job in the first half. He had a couple of chances as well, didn't he? And um, maybe the first chance he had, he should have put away. So are you saying Trippi over Walker over the long term? Oh, oh no, I knew you'd ask me this question. Um, well, Poch just rotates his fullbacks, and I, I don't think it really makes a difference either way. I think Trippi has got an advantage in the sense that his crossing is, is generally really, really good. And I think he's also improved defensively. Like, and he's kind of grown as the season's gone on. So like, at the beginning of the season, he played that Europa League game, like you probably remember. He gave away that penalty. Mm -hmm. And slowly, slowly, he's just getting better and better. Mm. And then today, he was just he was top class. It, it was a top class performance. Yeah. He, he was fantastic. We've just heard a roar. Hopefully, that's, that's <laughs> nothing too important. Um, talk, talk, talk to me about Chadley, because a lot of people yeah. are saying he shouldn't start. He's more of an impact player. We started him today. It probably deserved his start, in all fairness, because he has been, you know, he's been scoring goals and playing well. Would you start him in the next game? Um, we've got, we've got Man, Man City, City away. away or, no, I'd, I'd probably go with Son on the left, <laughs> Ali in the middle, and I'd have to guess you have to stick Ericsson down the right. But <laughs> okay, Ericsson down the right. I'm, I'm not sure that that's a, that's a position yeah. he's too familiar with. But they rotate anyway. They rotate anyway. So, like today, Chadley started. I thought he started in the middle. And Ericsson was on the left and Lamella was on the right. And it just kept changing. Like Lamella was on the left, hmm. Ericsson was in the middle, and then Charlie was on the right. So I couldn't actually tell my. Yeah, I think, I think we have that, don't we? I think yeah. since the sort of last five or six games, we've been able to rotate those players. And I don't think the opposition quite knows. Another roar. Uh, the opposition quite knows you know, who's going to come at them from which side, whether it's Lamella on the left, Ericsson on the right. Um, we've got Man City away next. Hmm. Leicester went there earlier today. They won 3 1. Can we do a Leicester on them? Well, I need. I think people need to stop saying, "Can we do a Leicester and stuff?" And you know, Leicester deserve to be where they are. They, they've shocked everyone, and I mean, I was really annoyed when we lost the game earlier in the season here when we lost one 0 because I thought it was really significant. I think it still is, because if we uh, honestly, if we want to win the title, we should have really got something from that game. But I think next week is a must-win. If we have any aspirations for top, to win the league. Yeah, I can't believe I'm actually saying that. <laughs> then we have to go and win that way to Man City. Talking of winning the league, yeah. right? We've got a lot of games coming up. Yeah. We've got a very busy four weeks ahead of us. Another roar. Oh, that's 3-0. <laughs> we've got another few busy weeks ahead of us now. We've got, I think, pretty much a game and a midweek game over the next four oh, weeks. Fiorentina as well. Fiorentina, that's right. So where are we going to be in four weeks' time? Are we going to be second, third? Or are we going to do a typical Spurs? and be fifth or maybe sixth. <laughs> and I hate saying that, yeah. but I'm just putting the question out there. What do you think? Uh, I think away to City next week will say a lot about the next games. Well, it's Palace at home after that, so we'd expect yeah. three points. Well, on paper, yeah. But you know, all, like, all the teams that come here are just going to sit back really far, and then we're just going to have a Brenton down again. I mean, with City, because we're underdogs, I think we, it's kind of better for us because I don't think anyone on paper would expect us to go get something from there. Even though I think if we get at their defence, I, we look so much more solid at the back. Yeah. We could get it as well. uh, another question that are on the lips of many fans is: Is our squad big enough and deep oh. enough to survive all these games that are coming up, yeah. and you know, really kind of get through to the last five games, being in that top four mix? Top is three, the squad yeah. big enough? Is it deep enough? And should we have bought someone in the window? We should have bought someone in the window. We should have bought a striker. <laughs> People won't like it because it's the fact that everyone says, "Oh." trust in Poch. And it's not like I don't trust in Poch, but we always use the excuse now, uh, we're going to hear this for the next few windows if we don't spend big money, is that we're building a stadium and everything. So, you know, we can't spend all this money and stuff. Yeah. But I don't want to sound negative, but I kind of want to sound positive. This might be our best chance to win the league. In January, we should have gone and spent some money we, <laughs> and bought a striker. All around the, all around the squad is fine. I'm happy with, you know, our full-backs are brilliant. Our centre-halves, Stone Vimmer, he just slotted in today. 
our midfield too. I mean, I'm even happy with Carroll coming in as a squad player. Occasionally, you've got Mason coming back, Ben Taleb, central midfield sorted, the wingers, the attacking midfielders, whatever we call them. We've got so many options, but up front. So, Harry, give me, give me an answer. Come on, you're moving in and around the outside. <laughs> are we going to finish top four? Is the squad big enough? Or are we going to win the league? <laughs> top four winning the league? Um, okay, the only way we're going to win the league is if Kane stays fit and on form. So that's a yes. Harry thinks we're going to well, win the league. No, Let no, us know no, at no, the no, bottom. He's say saying no, but I'm, I'm going to put him on the spot. Kane stays fit and stays on form. We're going to win the league. No, because we have to catch Leicester. He's not sure. He's not sure. He's a typical Spurs fan. He's, he's got the confidence, but he's got the doubt to go with it. <laughs> Harry, thanks for your time. Make sure you guys subscribe <laughs> on all the channels, YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. Signing out Come here. On Come on, you Spurs. <laughs>